Hey everyone, it's Millie. It's Gabby. And welcome back to another week of Change by Degrees. And we have an actual like productive topic today. Wouldn't you think so? We're gonna try to make We're it productive. <laughs> <laughs> we came up with points like a whole 12 hours in advance, which is a record for us. Yeah. It, on, it's kind never of heard shocking before. a little bit. I, it didn't feel right walking in and knowing what we're doing, but that's okay. It feels a little wrong. Like it does feel wrong. Every point. But today we're gonna be talking about freelance, mm -hmm. which is very near and dear to us as we've spent years mm -hmm. trying to figure crap out, um, especially in the age of Rona, which will be an important point that yeah. we talk about. Um, but I thought Gabby said something last night that really you know, sums up <laughs> the energy that, I us, forgot about this. <laughs> <laughs> that us freelancers have when we approach something. Well, you've got to, you've got to. You, you have to. And this yeah. is what she said. Basically, to freelance, you need to be snapping necks and taking checks. Cash and checks. Cash and checks. Ca sna I wrote snapping. this down. Oh, okay. I wrote this down, Maybe but I, it's fine. I meant, we'll, okay. we'll say cash and checks. Snapping okay? necks, cash and checks. Exactly. And then you do that over and over again <laughs> until you force people to give you business. Yeah. I think that's pretty... I think that's pretty solid. You just have to have an attack energy. An attack you gotta, energy. Okay, listen, everybody. I'm an Aries. I'm an I'm Aries. Not, I'm not. I'm a fire sign, right? I'm Aquarius. You're a so. water sign. That's okay. Aquarius is cool, dude. Um, you got to have that Aries attack energy, you know? Aggressive. It's, it is very aggressive. I will yeah. say that. And there is some truth to that. When she first said it, I really wanted to kill myself a little. But then I thought about it. And I'm like, you know what? No, that's right. And then we talked yeah. about other more productive things than just the energy. That wasn't, yeah. To. That wasn't the whole conversation. <laughs> but I thought that was a great intro because I think we've both learned to be a little bit more aggressive when it comes mm -hmm. to things like this. Um I, I guess you've always been like that, but for me, it's no, been a struggle. No, I haven't. I several... haven't always been like that. Really? Ask anybody who knew me as a child. I was never. I was never. I don't know. I feel like that could I was have been the a little shyest. feisty energy. See, here's the thing. Like, as a child, I was very, very shy. But on the inside, I was like, I just didn't say what I... <laughs> Like, on the inside, I was like, oh, I freaking hate that kid. But I wouldn't say it. I just would just... I, I didn't. I didn't. But so it's okay. But yeah, so freelance, you got to be a little bit more aggressive than maybe you're used to. Because it's like you're... Not business, but it, I mean, it is kind of. And if you need, I mean, when you get somebody, you're like, okay, what do you need? What can I do for you? Let me know. And at the end of the day, this is your invoice. Yeah. And you pay me well, by this date. That's the thing. Like, you gotta, that's the thing that's awkward too, because you gotta send when you, I mean, it's not always awkward. It can but be like super can normal. Be. Oh, yeah. yeah. But if you're like upping the price or like mm -hmm. not negotiating price, but being like, oh, I don't think that's fair. Right. Like, you gotta be like, I mean, because it, it, at the end of the day, it's like your money. Like, mm -hmm. it's what you're maybe not living off of, but we'll get to that later. Supplemental income. Mm. Um, at I don't know. Jax. At Jax. I hated <laughs> when she said that, but it's true. It but is. It's true. Yeah. Um, and we've both done very different things. So I think we have a variety of perspectives when it comes to this because Gabby has... I mean, I know she does a little bit of short story stuff. I don't know if you've mm -hmm. gotten paid for that, but you, you still you can be if you win an award. A competition. <laughs> you you get paid usually. <laughs> um, and she does like reports, which yeah. she can explain to you because I have no yeah. idea. Like she works on them and she completes them, and I have no idea. I yeah. teach music lessons mm -hmm. um, and do some audio editing on the side. Yeah, dude. Um, but I think we have some good points that we can mm -hmm. learn from both. They're very different types of businesses, but at the end, it's freelance, something that you're in charge of. So. Yep. And it's and something fun. that you write <laughs> fun, something you write on your tax form. That's not fun, but I don't. I couldn't even. You can do. We'll get to there. <laughs> we'll get, we'll get <laughs> there. Yet. Yeah, yeah. We'll start easy. We'll start easy. easy. Yeah. So like to start off, I think the biggest thing when it comes to freelance, if you want to like get into freelance, start freelance, is to have like a digital footprint or like a website. Get on mm. social media. Like be in it to win it kind of thing. Um, like we have websites. Well, okay, we, here, here, here. Oh, well, no, by no, then, we're, they're going to be live. Oh, dude, they just got so confused. Okay, It's so okay, 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 okay. It's right now, it's it's beginning of August. By the time this episode comes out, our websites will be live. We're still working on them currently, though. Yes. Um, oh, crap. Our domain, I don't even know. No, well, I was going to say it'll be Squarespace Planner Generator because I'm not paying more money to make my own domain. Oh, yeah, no. No. So, but it will be under Take Note for me. Okay. And I don't, yours I is. don't know. <laughs> I thought you did come I up with did, one. I have, I, but I don't know if that, it's kind of, um, oh God, what is it? I forgot. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> because I, it was, I. It was something really clever It too. was, wasn't it? it was, oh, a step um, in the right direction. A step in the right That's direction. That's what it is. Okay. Oh, Jesus. It's right. Like, Watch us not be ready for this I, whole thing. You know what? At this point, considering I can't even remember the title, it's a step in the right direction, but W-R-I-T-E. Which see is I so clever. There. So, so, so clever. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so we're both working on it. Uh -huh. And mind you, like, it's been a painful process. Like last night in order to be feel, Dude. to feel 
feel more prepared for this episode, we sat down for like two to three hours, like three hours, and tried to figure out on how Facetime, to, <laughs> on Facetime to try to figure out certain things. It wasn't enjoyable, but it needed to be done. I thought yeah. I was gonna graduate and have like my website published the next day, and no, it's a whole process. It is a process. It's just like the like stupid. I don't know. It's just like. Once you get it right and you see your page and everything, it looks so nice. It's mm-hmm. great. But in the process of being like, how do I change this font? Why is this block not going where I need it to go? Oh my gosh. Where do spacers. I find the space? Dude, the spacers. I hate the um, spacers. <laughs> it's just like all that like stupid nitty gritty stuff that's like not super fun to do. But then when you see the whole product, it's like, oh, great. We're one step close to public. Like I was, you know, we were both oh, uploading like links and stuff like that. Oh and my gosh. Resumes, resumes or and projects stuff. that you've worked on. Yeah. Because I mean, well, you're marketing yourself. So even if like, yep. and I teach music lessons and so like my first page is like mostly geared towards mm-hmm. that and a place where they can book a lesson with me. But then I have this other page, which I'm still not done. This is the part that's taking me the longest where it has all my projects, mm-hmm. whether it's been this podcast yeah. or um, audio that I've edited for other people and companies. And that's a little bit painful. But I think it's important because mm-hmm. someone might stumble on your website and you don't know what other opportunities you'll get. So yep. you, you can't limit yourself, especially starting off. Yeah. And I also thought, I mean, this goes a little bit into the finance, but not really because mm-hmm. we're both investing a good piece of money yeah. right now um, in order to get these up. And mm-hmm. you don't know, like you may not have anyone click on the website for the mm-hmm. next like six months, but you're putting yourself you're out putting, there. You're putting yourself, well, that's the thing. Cause like, you never know when someone's going to be like, oh, you have a website or, oh, you have blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And you, you want to be able to be like, yes, I do. Like, right. uh, and it just shows like, I think it shows, well, obviously professionalism and that you're mm-hmm. serious. It's not one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, if you need somebody to do it, I'll do it. It's like, no, like this is something I want to continue doing. I have a website dedicated to this service or whatever um it's not just like word of mouth it's like you can go to a physical place and see that i have a website with everything laid out and blah blah blah. you can see all my experience um i don't know i just think it tells people that you're like you're serious and you're going to give them Mm -hmm. a good product or try to give them a good product and work with them and just be like what do you need tell me and it holds you accountable like having to go through and list everything that you've Mm -hmm. done um and just go through that process like you also take yourself a little bit more seriously like you yeah. know that you you want to make some sort of income out of this mm-hmm. um and it helps it really does and alongside that i mean that's a website yep. and there's a lot of online businesses that don't even need a website and they do something on instagram or facebook mm-hmm. which is something that we want to say because i think i'm gonna i'm so bad on my personal social media i, I mean think we kind of both are we, we, we <laughs> both are but like i'm even worse yeah, i you saw are you posting some stuff on stories but oh I, yeah i do that but like posting on like your Feeds. I only do it when I like really, really want to post something. You you have two pictures. Oh, See, I have it. like I have like two hundred something, but that's actually not. But that's from tons. before. I mean, you posted like this dancing. Yeah, video. That but was I don't good. have. You said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything that's like marketing myself. It's just whatever I want to post. Like it's, it's whatever. Right. Yeah, yeah. And so I know that I will not get better at my personal page. But I thought if I had some for my business, number one, that's just automatic marketing Mm -hmm. because you already have tons hopefully (laughs) even though we're introverts we have tons of friends already that might be interested in word of mouth yep can get you a lot of business Mm -hmm. so i might start another page with content on like either the lessons um that i'm doing Mm -hmm. or whatever i will try to be better um it's like that's the other part for me it's like not super fun it's like trying to like i just want to do the work i just want to have the clients and stuff i don't want to have to do all this preliminary but it's like that's the way you get people like Mm -hmm. so yeah but either way whether it's a website or i mean facebook is dead but if you're older or catering to older audiences that might be a great option i will have no twitter i don't care i, I don't think I that's a no good one. i don't think that's a good place yeah, to try for to... some weird i don't know what you do on twitter but twitter things yeah. um, and then instagram is a good i think you yeah. get a lot of people on instagram yeah yeah i think so too whatever it is for you mm-hmm. make it put yourself out there um when you have an audience and you feel a little bit more pressure, which I'm already feeling it. Well, like I yeah. told Jax and I was like, I will have my website published by the end of this week. And I'm like, I know oh, she crap, will hold me accountable. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to, even if it's not finished, we're going to put yourself out there and then you can edit it as you go along. Yeah. Plus like, well, like you said earlier, like you put a big, not a huge, but like you did pay for it. We both paid for it. So yes. it's like, are you going to, you paid for, I don't know, month by month or a year. You're letting it sit there unused it's mm-hmm. kind of like so you put the money in it for what purpose no, 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 like no, i paid an annual yeah. subscription yeah Kill exactly me. and also a tip like on squarespace if you have a student email mm-hmm. you can get 50 percent off yep and Do i think even that, please. like it gives you 50 percent off and i think if i remember correctly you get like two months free trial if you're a student oh, and you haven't that. used 
Squarespace before in the past or something because I got right. ended up getting I used my student I, I still use my student email even though you're graduated like two years ago um, I didn't but feel so hey bad it still works so. <laughs> and it worked for Flowdesk too I got 50% off the whole year wow dude um with my student ID but yeah I think it, it's something like instead of a two-week trial on Squarespace it gives you like a two-month trial or something That's I don't not know bad though so, not bad I mean, I mean as you're yeah, working, take all those especially all those as you're things. like working up, up I think to graduate mm. anything that you've worked on during your mm-hmm. school years like put that on there yeah. you never know um something my professor told me actually but yes if you are a student please take advantage of that and many other things for being a student that yeah. you can get a discount off anything of. um but and when it comes to money this uh, is our yeah. next point this is the point like, I like zone out on because I we all we, we all yeah, hate it. We all like hate not. it. And I think as creatives, and we were talking about this yesterday, like the last thing we want to do is look at spreadsheets and manage money. Like yep. having to start my ledger on what, and I was doing it on paper, and I'm switching over to online now because it's getting more serious. But I don't know what. How do you feel writing an invoice for for a client? Gabby? I don't really. I mean, that's fine. I I've gotten into the swing of it where I keep track like um like as i go so if i finish something i immediately put it down so at the end of the month or the end of the week i don't have to like go back and try to think Mm -hmm. about what i did that week but i don't know i just hate the whole like i mean i want to get paid obviously but the whole like (laughs) i don't know like it's it's just painful i'm just a block to it i mean yeah i mean you know me i I don't do money like or math super well so anytime it i you know it's just like like you even said something yesterday when we were talking and planning for this and you were talking about like taxes and you're like oh do you write this off and blah blah and i was like oh yeah okay like i I told you like classes it was a good idea it was just it was just one of those things where anytime money comes up or budget or invoice i'm like oh yeah whatever dude like i just Mm want to do the work get paid but it's not that easy you gotta kind of think through it yeah but that's okay (laughs) <laughs> it's not okay for her well, she's kind of yeah, killing herself a little bit about it, it but um um when it comes to pricing like it depends like yeah. i do music lessons and i started off at 15 watch me be lying but around there yeah. and i charged 20 dollars for a half hour and i did that because shameless music- plug everyone she <laughs> <laughs> 20 20 dollars for a half hour no, no, oh no no, 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 no it's no, increased do, do, do. it's I'm okay to, okay to, but you're still to. putting yourself out there for lessons and stuff so i know and contact. i started off and the thing is like i was like i'm trying to be cheaper so people go with me and yeah. music and arts my local music and arts mm-hmm. was charging thirty dollars or more per half hour and i was like well that's steep um so and i stayed at that price point for like two and a half three years mm-hmm. and it was so hard to go from 20 to 25 and that's where i'm at now and i did that for most of my college and now that i've graduated i think i'm ready to move up to 30 um because i have all that experience i have mm-hmm. a degree now but it's still you don't understand like it shouldn't have taken me this long um yeah but no but now i feel like you have more i don't want to say clout but you have more of a reason to like mm-hmm. move up because you do have a degree that should automatically be a pay increase across the board for everything that occurs <laughs> um for every job for every job everybody's job <laughs> should be an automatic pay increase <clears throat> but so i i don't think it's a bad thing that you mm-hmm. stayed at like one price for for so long or you said like right. what, two years or whatever mm-hmm. but yeah i do think that like once you get enough experience and what once you have like a set of clients and like a name for yourself almost um yeah i think you should i mean it's it might be awkward to be like not ask for more money but be like right. hey you know, but i mean at the same time people will understand that mm-hmm. especially for new students like what yeah now that i'm gonna be at 30 mm-hmm. finally graduated and um, whoever's currently my student like i'll keep them at the same rate mm-hmm. um but if i have new students i'm like that's my new rate mm-hmm. um and you kind of have to I find it really hard to justify higher price for myself. Mm-hmm. I think now it's getting easier because I, I know how much work I put into teaching yeah. um, and just living in Northern Virginia, yeah. trying to make a decent amount of money. That's just what's needed. Um, but then keeping track of that because I wanted to get into like the ledger part of it because when I was super, super young, I just wrote down like, you know, 20 bucks. I got it in cash. 20 bucks on this yeah. day. I got it in a check and I cashed in and <laughs> I kept all my checks and I wanted to kill myself come tax time when like I made like maybe two grand in the whole year and yeah. I still got taxed on that. Yeah. Like shoot me. Yep. Um, because you don't automatically get taxed no. when you're making self-employment yeah. income or small business income. And that's where writing off things comes handy which yeah, i don't yeah. know if gabby has ever done this but well, no because I, I well because i like it's just like i have nothing to write off because i sit and i oh i, type. Mean, I mean i don't if need you ever like for example scrivener she recently bought scrivener yeah, true. And if you ever write anything for any client on that you That's could write true. that off yeah um i've written off we both have bought classes 
to yeah. get better at what we're doing. Yeah, dude, I'm looking into that. <laughs> yeah, you look into that because when you drop like hundreds of dollars, yeah, um, that would be great to write off, and it really makes a difference. One time, I think I wrote off my iPad that I bought. Mm which took me forever to buy and I bought it used at a mm-hmm. Best Buy. Um, but even what I paid there, I wrote it off and it like took off a lot off my oh. taxes because it was a big investment yeah. and I used it in my lessons to like write notes for yeah. students and stuff like that. Um, so it also takes being creative. Like if you if you have any financial friends or mm-hmm. people, um, what do you call, accountants. Oh, oh God, yeah. I couldn't be an accountant. But if you have any accountant friends, it's worthwhile mm-hmm. to kind of ask them like, what can you write off? I think it's kind of painful to like write off your miles I had an app and yeah. I did it one year wherever I like drove to teach a lesson or to a client's house to record something for them. It, it like tracks your miles and does it for you, but that's still like really painful. So I don't I don't think I drive enough to do that. But Yeah, but if you're like somebody who is doing like I don't want to say contracting work, but like something like that where you literally is like half the time that you spend is in the car getting mm-hmm. to other people's houses. Well, like like I would write like that Tim, up. he does photography. True. So anything, yes. if he like drives if somewhere. Driving to Orange County or something yeah. to do a wedding, then yeah, I would write. I would. And that'll that add up. Yeah. And it'll be a great tax benefit because you kind of have to fight for yourself a little bit because you don't mm-hmm. have an employer doing that busy work for you. Yeah. You have to think through it. So it's things like yeah. that that I think when you first start your small business, you might not think about. But if you really want to make it worthwhile mm-hmm. getting smart about taxes and, and doing your research. Is find all the loopholes. Millie wants you to find all the loopholes. That's what you possible. said last night. Yeah, find all the loopholes. Without, you know, you got to tiptoe that line between like fraud and... <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared of my last taxes that somehow I did something fraudulent. Oh, yeah. Um, mm, yeah. Uh, but Gabby said it's fine. And if I end up in jail, she'll get me out. So yeah, dude, I'd, be- I'd bail you out. I would bail you out ASAP. ASAP. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. We're mm-hmm. both broke, so well, I don't know who pay that. But <laughs> well, got to find another loophole in order to get the money to well, criminals. No, so no. What's equals- I say? I said tiptoe the line. I didn't say cross the line. I said tiptoe the line. Dude, dude. You know we both. It's fine. It's all right. Maybe we should get off money before we say something. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't say. Um, not that we've okay. We we've never no no done anything. Please don't take <laughs> like that. Fraud. But. But, um, but okay, because then the first point I have for point three is supplemental income. I don't know why we didn't tip-toe. just put that under tiptoe. Well, it's not, that's not, that's not that's bad. Tip-toe. Supplemental income. I mean, like, because once again, Jax, thank you for destroying she our just, lives. She this. destroyed my life. And I was just like, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like, I think a lot of people think that, and what we were going to talk about kind of like COVID and how through all this, like people before this, I mean, people were like, oh, your job's secure. You need a nine to five, blah, blah, blah. Through mm-hmm. COVID, we've kind of learned that's not the case because a lot of people have been mm-hmm. furloughed, left go, le- left go, let go, um, or just like, you know, not sure if they're going to get paid or, right. you know, whatever. Um, to be fair, I know like, you know, we've never gone through a pandemic in the 21st century, but like still people say that nine to five jobs are super secure, but really that's not the case so Mm -hmm. in my opinion i'm like you know people always say that freelance isn't a secure job and that might be the case as well but you might as well go for it because we've learned that your regular nine to five job isn't secure Mm -hmm. any more secure than than uh freelance so you might as well give freelance a shot i think it's worth it um even if you only make like you had said like okay if i only made two thousand dollars in the whole year Lost two thousand more dollars right. than you could have. I mean, you could have just had like no more than mm-hmm. what you made at whatever job. So right. you might as well give it a shot and try. Like it's still money, mm-hmm. um, and especially I'm assuming that if you're looking into freelance, it means that you are looking to do a service that you enjoy doing. Well, yeah, um, true. So then you also get the joy and fun out of just doing something that you like and getting paid for it. Like you do stuff with music and editing and all that, and I do writing and like that's all stuff that we both enjoy mm-hmm. so we get that out of it we get to put our like uh, assuming passion your passion into um freelance into into like an actual job and you get paid for what you like doing mm-hmm. and like that's not that's not everyone no. can say that mm-hmm. yeah which is true and and what kind of got me thinking about this because i mentioned it to gabby last night is i saw a matt diavella episode when mm-hmm. he was talking about making income mm-hmm. especially in a time like rona or as a creative and about a conversation he had with uh, a college buddy as they were graduating and his buddy was saying what you said you know i, I don't think i could take the risk of not having the security mm-hmm. of having a, the same check pop into my account every two weeks right. and he's like well now more than a decade later we're in two different positions he's like some months i made 
two grand. Some mm-hmm. months I made over 10 grand. Yeah. Um, and that kind of also forced him and I think forces us to be smarter with our, with our money. Because yeah. you don't know if you're going to get the same which you made mm-hmm. last month. Mm-hmm. Um, so you save a little more. You don't get a little extra whatever that you don't need. Yeah. Um, and you just think about things a little bit more, I think. And I think it's true. Whether it is you're trying to find some way to make extra money, especially in a time like this, which is so unfortunate because people have lost their jobs. Yep. Or as creatives, because like we've both shared, we're still struggling to get like a full time yeah. employment position. Because um, as creatives, it's hard. It's not such a clear path. Like if you're yeah. in a service sec- sector job or an engineer mm-hmm. or an architect, like you know what companies to look at, where to apply, and it's pretty straightforward. Right. But when it comes to us, like you can make a lot more money, but sometimes you spend years struggling to get yeah. yourself started. Yeah. Um. So, and I think it's been good that we've still been able to make as little money as we, mm-hmm. we have, mm-hmm. but it's still something. And I think this says a lot, even if. And Jack said this, like the couple hundred dollars I make a month might be groceries for that month yeah, or an extra insurance yep. payment or my car broke down. And you know what? That extra, you know, three hours I taught someone is able to pay yeah. my broken car part. Right. You never know. Yeah. Um, and I think it's really important, especially with all the time we've had during quarantine, like look into it. There's we only know two ways that we're making money. But yeah. anything that, you know, even if you don't think you're a creative person, like find a skill that you can make money from. Yes. I think and well, do it. Well, yeah, because that's the thing. It's like yeah, you know, we're only speaking from what we know. Like that's it. There's mm-hmm. tons of skills out there. I'm sure that um, that you have that we don't have that you can totally like. I, I mean, you just got to be creative. Like you just have to think about. It's almost like filling a need. Like you have to kind of like look and be like, well, what are people either? What do people not want to do? Don't have time to do? Mm-hmm. Um, would would rather like for example like me. I would pay anybody to do my taxes, to help me with money, dude. Like, I do not want to do it. Don't know how to do it. Wasn't taught it in school because schools don't teach finance. Like, so I, yeah, if I had, if I had the money right, and could do that, I would pay someone to do that every single year, dude. Like, are you kidding me? So I think you just have to look at like, what, what do people not want to do? Like, mm-hmm. where is there like a need or a space for like whatever skill you have or service that you're offering and just... Like, like we said at the beginning, you got to have the energy to show up and be like, hello, give me your business. <laughs> like, be aggressive. Yeah, be aggressive and be like, I can do this for you. Like, this is my rate. You know, I can do this. I do mm. it well, blah, 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 blah. Um, I know you don't have time to do it. I have time to do it. Um, right. You know, because people will pay you for the things they do not want to do. Right, right. That's kind of like you're kind of like a trash can. But you know what? You I'm can <laughs> take you. all the stuff that no one wants and do it. <laughs> It's like recycling. I hate it, but it's true. <laughs> and I think, I mean, especially now, something that we both, we're not going to do. I swear we're not going to do, but something that I'm you scared. guys, our listeners, might want to do. Jack mentioned it. Like, what? there's so many people looking for, oh, I don't oh, know yes. what you call them, like, <sighs> teacher helper. Like, almost like a, like a, not, a a not live-in tutor, but like, but like babysitter-esque, te- like, yeah. it basically makes their children sit down at a certain and time and do, and do their work, yeah. especially since so many people are doing it online or homeschooling. Yep. And um, they pay so well. Yeah. A few days ago, we were looking at just different job opportunities, and we found this one, and they, I, I forget what the website was called, but yeah. they called them pods, where you have, oh, like, right. a yes. group of, like, five or six families mm-hmm. that all can pay lots of money, money I don't have, right. um, to do that for their eight ten children and they will pay 20 to like 60 dollars an hour yeah depending on like yeah. your experience and i guess how much money they have too but i'm just yep. like especially now if you're a struggling college student and you got some extra time to look over some crazy children do that yeah because that's a, like know. i said like that's a need like that's a new that's a new need kind mm-hmm. of because you know we've never been through this pandemic thing where people are staying home for school and like not just homeschool but like school at home kind of like through online classes or or whatever like we've never had to do that before Mm -hmm. for like an entire population so yeah once again (laughs) people are gonna pay you for the things they either don't have time to do or don't want to do i.e the parents who have to go to work or just don't want to Mm -hmm. um so yeah like just taking those opportunities keeping an eye on like the stuff that you know might pertain to you and like how the field that you're in is changing and like all that stuff so no for sure and it's something that you kind of reminded me of the point I wanted to make about mm-hmm. keeping up with people oh, yeah. in your field, mm-hmm. which very important. That's like really important. I follow, I mean, in college, I met a lot of people who were teaching and whatnot, mm-hmm. and I have to do a better job of this. I know it more for like the audio editing, like yeah. podcasting community, um, because when you keep connected with people, it's not complicated 
competition like it is and you said that but at the same time it's good because not everyone can serve not one single person can right. serve that need for the entire community yeah. um so seeing how they run their business um or new things that they're doing is incredibly helpful yeah um and it makes gives you connections that you'll mm. need like i've gotten job opportunities from even this podcast like yeah. I, I met a new client we interviewed her um in our summer series yep. and i was able to kind of help her edit some of her podcast mm-hmm. interview things and that's just again putting yourself out mm-hmm. there and i just thought I, had, I hadn't thought about it that way and when you said that i'm like no that does make sense and you should yeah. do that and i think like like just i don't know copying of people <laughs> like sometimes it just comes down to that like not everybody has to be like i'm unique and blah 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 like a lot of times a client just wants to be like can you do the job that's all i care about i don't care that you're like quirky and cool like Mm. can you do the job (laughs) it's like yeah dude like i don't know just like copying off what other people are doing in your field not like plagiarizing but being like oh that's how they set up their website so i'm gonna set mine oh they have a tab for that i'm gonna make one like that or like that's how they're talking to their clients so that's what i'm gonna do like Mm. i don't know just making it like super straightforward and easy and simple for people to understand what you're offering um and providing and, and whatever i think you know i don't think that's a bad thing like nothing's original anymore so <laughs> you might as well really care like, like, as long as it gives me some money then yeah month, I'm i mean it. plus like but yes being just being like inundated i think with like the people in your field and like what mm. is changed not falling behind because i think a lot of times you can like just one day wake up and be like oh no one's doing it like this anymore like like you said <laughs> like you're going from like you you just went from doing like invoices on paper to I being online yeah. and like that's keeping up like it's yeah, just being true. like okay what is easiest or like paypal dude like send you up with a little paypal account I'm like screaming. <laughs> it took me forever and dude jacks was screaming at me she, she really keeps me she keeps me in check because i set up a paypal account that i'm finally using which when corona hit and i did a lot of lessons on facetime it was like not comfortable it was new for me but i figured out how to make it work on an online platform which was great and i also had to be paid online yeah which i'm like i have a paypal and, she, and then she kept asking me like do you have a venmo and i'm like i don't oh, know oh yeah and then gabby was like you do have a venmo millicent i sent yes. you like whatever which like, i don't even know I, literally like months ago i sent her one payment and then dude she never I've used never it again used venmo well venmo so paypal I figured it out use and something. she sent me something yeah. and uh and i'm 21 and i have issues with venmo Dude, so you know what if i can figure it out being so outdated <laughs> i guess as i am uh y'all can but see you changed and you kept up with the with the times and i was able to get paid even though everyone so, was screaming at you <laughs> dude i was i felt so attacked all the time i feel or it's like that with um marco polo which you i can't say you you uh, can't say nothing because you don't do marco polo i don't I think, think anyone like, does marco polo yes, yes they do who we're both behind i've on this. literally never heard anyone talk about it dude oh well maybe it's like a mom thing i'm pretty sure it is because I have no one on twitter who uses okay dude okay. nobody on twitter instagram nothing i've never heard of this app until you and tim started talking about it and i was like i have no clue what that is Okay, Twitter is not the end all be all. No, but it's pretty exists. good. I feel like you're like, is it on Twitter? Then it doesn't exist. Pretty much, that's you. how the internet works. You have to admit, Candace, back me up. You know, mm, I don't. <laughs> you know, I don't. True. Mm. If, if Twitter doesn't like endorse, I'm like, eh. I'm and I don't trust. I don't trust I'm it, dude. Screaming. Well, it is an actual thing that okay. I want to use. I sent one again to Jax, and I just feel she's keeping me up with the times, and she's like, I don't even know how much older she is than me, but. She knows oh, more like than two, I do. Two, two, two years. Two, two, or, three two years. or three years, Jax. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, keeping up with the times and it's painful. Like we've just spent like a whole summer paying money for things we haven't gotten any money back from and literally spending hours figuring stuff out um, all in the hopes that something will come. Maybe out one of it. person will. <laughs> Maybe one person will sign up on my website for lessons. This was a great plug episode. Oh, yes. We'll put, we'll put that in the, I'll put that in the show notes. Oh, true. Once link, we get it working. Link everything. Kill me. Once we get it working. <laughs> hopefully in a month we will have this working. If it, if it isn't, well, by the time this suck. episode is released, we'll, we'll have it done. Don't worry. Go look at the show notes right now. And I guarantee you will see. You're really speaking this into existence. 99.9% right sure. Go right now. Look at the show notes. They're right there. Click on it. Do you see the yellow background Sign on up. Millie's website? Do you see the background? The yellow on my- background? Yeah, dude. Because it, really, it's loud. I it's know loud it yellow, but it gets your attention. Mm, mm-hmm. You probably, maybe everyone will hate it. But I, maybe. I, I, I like it. It's fine. It's it's aggressive. You said, hey, you Not said it's aggressive. Snap and yellow is, and take it, passion checks. Yeah. That's what the yellow on my website does. There you go. To the people who click the on. The yellow on your website snaps everyone's necks. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, it's just, like a seizure of It color. just like blows their eyeballs out. It's okay. Like, <laughs> because they're like, oh, dude, that's bright. <laughs> it's not even like a buttery yellow it's like loud like like warning sign yellow (laughs) don't track me (laughs) no dude 
she didn't like it. I showed Gab and she was like, oh, yeah. No, it's I do more like, like it. This is representative of like me. But here's, there's a deeper meaning to this dude. Let me explain to everyone. I don't know this so part. My we- yes, you do. Oh. And I told you, you just don't pay attention God, to me. Okay. It was, it was <laughs> that my website name is called Take Note. Yeah. Which actually, Gabby helped me get there. But yeah. I thought it looked like a sticky note. Like, Sticky you note did yellow. not tell yes, me I, that. Yes, I said No, that. you did yes. not. When? When I when you told me about the name, and I'm like, oh, maybe this yellow can be like sticky note yellow. Well, no, because the note. template had the yellow, right? Yeah, but I thought that's why it was funny oh, that it worked together. In I the end. do not remember you saying that. I remember the take note it's thing. Because you don't pay attention to me. No, that's not it. I think you just said it in your mind, but didn't like it didn't come out episode, of your mouth. There's like a little hint of, of how you ignore me. This is on good. A basis. I like this. This is really. <laughs> I like being. <laughs> You attacked me for my aggressive No, no, yellow. no. I just said it looks like... I'll tell you what Gabby's website color is white. No, it's not. It's okay, well, a cream. No. Some very muted You don't even know because you, you haven't I even saw. looked at it. You have like a little... And I attacked you last night on the font choice. Oh, yeah. I can't change, change that. You can? No, you can't change it. You can't change it on the block, you mean? Yeah. You can't change it. How can you not change that? Because Squarespace oh. is the way it is. No, 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 no. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of annoying. But you can change it on your themes, dude. Mm, I'll have to look at that because <laughs> I have no clue. I was like, I don't know. Yeah, it's this kind is... of annoying. You go through like a separate menu for like colors and like what different heading, like the font sizes and font choices. Mm, yeah, no, no, I know that. Oh, okay. it's, but it. I don't know. Good. No, it looks like poop. So <laughs> I put it to, <laughs> to work what? on that. But it's so. What color is your website? It's like you have a photo. It's got, it's got like a medley going on. You know, it's got like some Dude, soft. That is the most non-answer it's, I've ever I'm gotten. Fitting a to tell medley? You. I'm fitting to tell you. It's got some like soft, creamy I colors, see. and then the sub headings are like a nice brown. It sounds boring, <laughs> but I promise it's. It's. I haven't said it's, anything. It's, I haven't and said then anything. black. Yeah, dude. Black, brown, like and white. Like a grandma website. No, no. It's you should good. do the face tune like, for your photo that listen, you have. It's put like it a. It's like a. Later. It's like a. Um, I don't remember the You're word really for struggling. it. It's like a nice like chestnut chestnut color. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's exactly what I was going for it's so a nice chestnut brown a medley of cream it's warm and, chestnut and, and inviting and it just gives you warm feelings because my writing it's it's a writing website so it's just like all those good things you know the dude i'm not judging you and then I, yours like, is like the meh, 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 like blaring in your face three string <laughs> alfred hitchcock <laughs> dude, kind of i hate it feeling. imagine if our, our websites had like you have to pick up music for your website. Like if it was like an elevator ra- waiting room. Imagine if that was a concept. Mine would be like, would be like an indie coffee shop. You definitely can like order hookah to, if you going want to, to. After this, yeah, true, dude. That playlist. Some James Blake, <laughs> <laughs> some Penny and Sparrow, and then randomly some Beyonce thrown in. That's dude, that would be no, my when website. you go to like maybe like your projects tab, it'll be just the Beyonce kick in. Yep. And, uh, the baseline be would be. I would make it as loud as possible. I know you would. I know it you would, would blow your speakers out, and then you'd be like, "I want her to do something for me. I want her to write something." And then for yours, it would be what like, "What would mine be?" Yours would be like, "Oh, you know what? what? I've forgotten that I have to do. Nope. I've been so busy with my life." But uh, Gabby gave me a project to work on. Oh yeah, dude, dude I forgot about say, it. Can't say nothing. <gasps> no, no, but, no. But I hope it's done by now. It ain't done by now. I hadn't. I haven't been a, 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 a month. When this goes out, it will be done. We're not even talking to about the, the person. Thing. Yes, we are. Oh, in a yes, month, we are. you want to... Okay. It'll be done. Mean, it will be done. You're right. I just I mean, forgot can, about it. You can do that in like five seconds. You say that, but I want to make it good, dude. It, it doesn't have to be like top shelf. It's you keep saying that. I'll going, make it ratchet, but good still, though. Okay. Like, No, yeah. that's fine. Maybe we can release it on our podcast, and you know what? That our whole audience will be so confused be because it's the most horrendous. random thing. It. Once again, it's something from Twitter, is it but it's on okay. Twitter, but is yes, it big yes. on Twitter? Is it like it some went, deep it, thread of no, 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 no. It was like it, it got crap. really, it got, it got pretty popular. But you know how things? It's not like a trend. It wasn't trending. It was just like it was like really funny, and everyone was talking about it for like two or three days, and then it went away, like everything else on Twitter. But that was like two weeks ago that it happened, like back in July. So do you mm. know what I? Oh, everyone been oh, been done the entanglement thing. Oh yeah, dude, that's tired now. That's that's tired now. Although, dude, we want to do an episode of like yes, instead of red table talk, what did we come up with? We, we said, said bur- burgundy, burgundy desk chat, burgundy desk chat. It just flows off the tongue, real nice. <laughs> <laughs> and because uh, Gabby's new kick now is that I'm gonna bring myself to the red Every table. Every time I'm having a mental breakdown, I just pull a Jada, and I'm just like, I'm bringing myself to the red table. And you know what? I think we're gonna. Oh, I mean, yeah, I need to bring myself to the burgundy 
desk, desk chat. chat. Yes. Dude, we're going to get a nice little... We can get a table cover. runner. We can table get a table runner. runner. That's red and... Uh, burgundy. Chat not red. It has stuff. to be burgundy. It has to be burgundy. Burgundy. A burgundy... Felt. Video. A a felt burgundy dude we should do table this, like, runner thanksgiving that's horrendous and like it's like thanksgiving at your grandma's house <laughs> legit and talk about all the stuff that no one wants to talk about talk about all the stuff ing that no one else wants to because you said you said thanksgiving I, that was i'm so sorry are you, are you proud so of good yourself a right little now? bit because i like puns and i think that's funny you didn't laugh but everyone else did i can hear them laughing you can hear them laughing i'm laughing yeah, I'm, the I'm, chuckles actually, i'm not laughing i'm screaming inside i know Jax is laughing she dude i know I, I hate i hate I this know. she's, she's like, laughing so tickled right now yeah. at the fact that you're like stuffing boo, boo, boo. but uh it's good dude yep. well, we're gonna do burgundy i don't know desk chat. how we got here but that's okay you don't can even we know how we back? we can let's i'm a i'm a connect it how are we gonna connect so the last here? thing you said was burgundy desk chat yeah i'm oh, bringing myself go. to the burgundy desk chat to talk about how much i enjoy freelancing and how much how i think it's so important to to do if you really if you're a creative person and you really want to do that i mean that's something to talk about at the burgundy desk chat boom there you go Thank she didn't you. think i could do that but i did I had no doubt in my mind. Um, You're looking at me like I'm, I, f- I have like three I heads. Lost. But I okay. feel lost. No, dude, I brought um, it back. But we're here. We're here. Yep. And you know what? It is fun. Do I want to? <laughs> that kill- sounded so. <laughs> you but- know what? Period. It is fun. Period. <laughs> <laughs> and even though most days I kind of want to kill myself yes. because this is the only money I'm making. Oh, um, spill that tea. What is? Let's, well, no, no, I mean, let's like, unpack I mean, this. Um, mm-hmm. Consistent, mm-hmm. consistent. Mm-hmm. Um, at a good rate. Oh yeah. Um, and you know what? I love my students. Love them. I hope my students love me. They, they probably well, want to kill themselves a little you know, too. Okay. Um, and you know what? You can't say crap because I, as much as she like tried to bring it back around, I did bring it around. You did, but you were lying because I know sometimes I walk into this office, Gabby is glued to her computer, wanting to shoot herself yep. because she doesn't understand anything about this report she's doing. Yep. And she's like, "I didn't do stats. Why am I doing stats?" Yep. And uh, but you know what? But we figured it out. But we figured it out. And that's the thing. Sometimes you just gotta you gotta be like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. And then you're like, oh, that's I mean, like it's, it's kind of like, <laughs> like I was. Um, I mean, I plugged the morning tea podcast because she did an interview with Tim. Oh, about, like in January. Yeah, don't. Drag oh, sorry. Him. No, 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 like, no. I'm just saying, like, in, out there but like I didn't that. want you to say like, oh, what'd you talk about? Because I was about to be like, I don't remember because it was mm. back in January. But well, I can tell you. Okay, I even wrote I didn't the summary for this. To it. Um, oh, right, you did. Didn't but. You? They talked about being, well, not a recent college graduate, but just a college graduate say? and about how hard it is to find a job. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and a bunch of other random great things that you should go <laughs> she listen was about to. Be like, she was like a bunch of other random crap that was <laughs> no, no, no. useless. Um, but it was really funny. And you both talked about actually stuff that I really related to. And you had some good tips. But you did say about... I'm so scared. You shared about oh. fudging on your resume. Oh, you know... Yeah. <laughs> you got and, yeah, you had you no. and but it was a good point and i think it kind of relates to this because especially when you graduated and all these jobs that you're trying to apply for say like five ten years experience and you're like ma'am i just graduated but i will apply mm-hmm. for this and say i have five ten years experience even though i'm 21. i don't make it i don't make that big of a jump Not but that like you know jump. you gotta just kind of yeah. especially like Dude, trust me, on my website, I talk about all these projects I've been a part of, and I really explain how I was integral to this part, yes. to this process. Yes. And I feel like with your reports, you're like, yes, I've done this. Yes, yes. And then when you get it and you've never done it before, oh, you yeah. figure it out. You figure it out. You, you know what? You, fig- you put yeah. that weight on yourself, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, you got to you gotta keep your eye on the prize, which is... I will get some money out of this. True. Wish and that- then if it's done well, listen, it's not like you're doing a crap job. Like if it's done well, you're like, okay, that's another thing that you I put have. Put down your portfolio. I, I can, yeah, you can, you can claim that you've done that. You know how to do it, even if you have to figure it out every single time. You, you've gotten better at no, it. No, no, I'm good and I'm chill now. But I'm, figuring it out. I mean, that happens at any time. Like anytime you have like a new client for anything, like you mm-hmm. just have to figure out what they want. And sometimes people are like better at communicating what they want than others so you have to kind of yes. dig a little deeper to be like what do you want me to do oh and that's a good point now that you say that like you have to be good with people i don't care yeah we're both introverts but trust me when it comes we know to how talking, to we know how to we know how to like to be people. around people well <laughs> yeah. hmm, maybe well some, people some, some yeah well but when it comes to talking to clients like be professional be timely i feel yeah. a lot of people our age just don't care about that so Dude, much anymore be on time or early be on time yeah. reply first like yes they reached out to you the least you can do especially in this time of life you need to run the extra mile yeah be proactive i think also something that i find that actually is kind of becoming like natural to me now is just like being like 
let me know if there's any mistakes because once mm. again keep this in mind like they're paying you to do something mm-hmm. so if you submit something or you give them something and that's not what they want be like we'll give it back and i will fix it like don't just be like oh, okay well next time i'll do it but like no, no be no, like no. okay well let me know if there's any errors let me know if i can do anything else you know doing that once again like being proactive you said being on time or mm-hmm. early um also asking like when what kind of turnaround date do you need or like when oh, do you want this please do that, please please ask do that. that. I, I made the mistake only once and then i felt horrendous so i'm like i didn't know you'd be putting this well, out people also don't tell you right so you have to be proactive and be like okay when do you want this what do mm-hmm. you want this by like you know what are you looking for just asking all the questions first to get so that you have minimal minimal error minimal like miscommunication mm-hmm. kind of thing you know because once again you're doing it i I'm assuming for two reasons. Money. Also, you really enjoy doing it Mm -hmm. because you wouldn't be making a whole freelance business, paying for a website, paying for all these other things if you weren't like really, really passionate about whatever your whatever service you're putting out. So like you want to do that service well and show people that you can do it well because that's what you're passionate about. You want to be when you want people to know you can you can do it. So like I, I just think yeah, that's a good point. Like being proactive, taking taking initiative, being on time, Mm -hmm. showing that you care, all that stuff. Um. Yeah, and we didn't even, I didn't plan that out, no. but I thought that was a good point to make, because I feel yeah. like, especially people right now, don't have a value on that, but I'm like, most of my clients are way older than me, and mm-hmm. that's something that really matters to them, so if it matters to them, it matters to me. Yeah, because um, they can go find somebody else. Today. They can, yeah. and that's what I'm saying, you have to go the extra mile, be extra kind, and then eventually you can be to a point where like, no, what I gave you was a really good piece of work, or right. that's all the time that I can give you right now, or whatever, mm-hmm. but right now, that's not where I'm at, so yeah. if I have to spend an extra four hours at 2 a.m. in the morning getting something ready for a client yeah i I mean yeah there's always that one that's there's always that one thing where it's like you know they ask for one thing you give that to them and then they're like oh well that's not what i asked and it's like yes well that's what you're getting because that's what you asked like so you do have to draw the line because people will also take i mean i've never experienced this but like will take advantage of Mm -hmm. you and try to you know mine you for every little thing without paying you more so you also have to keep the balance between that like being firm but fair kind of thing Mm -hmm. um but yeah i think just like just being kind just goes a long way being taking initiative showing that you're responsible Mm -hmm. that you care about that specific client they're not just like another person you want to tailor what you're doing to each individual person yeah to make it not like a special experience but to make them be like to make them feel like i am really i'm putting i'm putting 100 percent into this just like i put 100 percent into everybody else and i'm tailoring it to you what Mm -hmm. you need versus what what's her face needs down the street like it's different and people will pay for that Mm -hmm. they They will pay for that about themselves they'll give you the the money in the end Mm -hmm. so and that's something important because it, even if your product isn't 100 percent, like i may mm-hmm. not mix as well as whatever the top producer is yep. at least they have a one-on-one relationship with me yeah like with my lessons they could go to music and arts and pay 30 dollars an hour and go and they don't have any relationship with that teacher past that 30 minutes yeah. but with me like they come into my house or i go to their house and i talk to them mm-hmm. and that one-on-one relationship is a big part of what they're paying for. And yep. I learned that a lot with Tim. He's like, he's a wedding photographer. Yep. And you start saying yes to everyone. And eventually then you can pick your clients. But working up through that, like they're paying for you. You're marketing yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, so taking that extra time and not being so mm, numbers about it. Yeah. Like if they go 10 minutes over their block, but I have no student after, I'll take the 10 minutes to talk yeah. to them. And it's because I genuinely do care. Like I'm friends with a lot of my um, students, but I know that it also matters and leaves yeah. a lasting impression even more than the 30 minutes I spent with their right. kid. Because it's them, not like you said, it's them. not just about the numbers. It's about like why I actually, I actually do want you to learn. I mm-hmm. want you to learn how to play this instrument. I mm-hmm. want you to be able to do this. I want to give a good product to your client, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like you, it is about people as well so in building those relationships which i like doing but um yeah it's fun like you said Mm -hmm. in the burgundy desk chat it's fun from the burgundy (laughs) we didn't know we entered the burgundy desk chat but we did don't worry we're gonna enter it a little bit more we're gonna oh yeah dude i'm I'm not ready for that it's gonna it's gonna be fun it'll be i don't know what's happening saying that but here's the thing like whenever she says i'm bringing myself to the red table she's dead inside (laughs) so if it's fun we'll see i'm bringing myself to the burgundy desk chat so everyone stay tuned for that you're gonna wanna it's you think man you think jada and will (laughs) not dog this is gonna be i'm just kidding it's not gonna be on that level it's that was that was horrendous i don't want to ever reach that level hey dude you know what fist bumping over a bad marriage you know we should say to end our podcast whenever we record that so they said bad marriage forever that was horrendous that's power up power up but we're gonna say bad podcast forever (sighs) well that yeah which is it's true it's not equally as toxic but it's true so (laughs) (laughs) they're just a little bit better but uh not much 
Well, on that note. <laughs> We hope everyone has a great week. Yeah. I know that everyone's mental health is doing great. Oh, as yeah. We no one's having down. any problems at all. Um, Dude, we should have a mental health episode. About what were we, didn't what could we, we possibly... About how we both suck. Oh, well, didn't we put that on the schedule? I thought maybe if we, we did. did, that's kind of horrendous, but... <laughs> that's Whatever we okay. planned out this season. Maybe I that'll be our burgundy did, right. desk chat. Episode. Maybe that should be our burgundy desk chat. Yeah. Like how we're doing mentally. I love how we're mentally preparing in the middle of an episode. That's okay. It's, we need to. That's okay. It's All necessary. Right. People well, can see that. Before we go on, let's actually close this one and then talk about. <laughs> um, I hope that was helpful. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just like, yeah. So anyway, so thanks for joining us for another episode. And we hope that this was somewhat helpful. If you're thinking about freelance, doing freelance. Do it. Do it. Just do it. Put yourself out there. Just do it. Be aggressive. Get that Aries energy. I know you have it somewhere in Snap your. Snap those necks. Snap those necks. Cash those checks. Dude, someone's um, going to end up in jail. Someone's going to be like, well, they said advice. to snap some necks. Um, <laughs> and I won't deny that. I'll say yes, I did. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if you're not following us already, follow us on Instagram. And not Twitter. Not Twitter, because there's nothing there. And our website. And our website. We have a website for our podcast. Yes. Not, let that not be confused. We've already done. We, we have multiple websites year. happening. We, Yo, yeah, we paid for another year. So, please go look at it. Check it out. Um, uh, we need to update. It's changed. Well, we will do it'll be done by it's change by, change by degrees podcast.com podcast. com. yeah and on instagram and all that we changed it's an underscore underscore change by degrees really yep. simple no numbers no, no numbers in it dude it it i cringed so hard because in tim's episode you were trying to explain like you want to follow your personal and then you like for our podcast and he's like it's a three right it's not like a three at the end it's just one three at the big the first e and i was like jesus Christ, oh and he's trying worst. to he's trying to explain it he well then you're like yeah it's that first three I... we tried to plan it out and we thought it was good when we first made it and then did i say that something like that and i was I'm like gabrielle screaming because so i was really like yeah i know it's horrible just shut up Dylan. and also that means that because it went <laughs> out today his episode because you oh. record record it way earlier oh yeah and so now it's the wrong handle hopefully oh. it still pulls up i don't think anyone will want to follow us after listening to me anyway so it's okay wow dude we so. love this no we're ending on but yeah that could be I but love right the now self-deprecation it's, it's okay. just underscore change by degrees it's just underscore anyway that was a long roundabout way of explaining that but anyway so <laughs> thank you for joining us for another episode and we'll see you guys in the next one next week <laughs> bye, bye <guys. laughs>